everyone and welcome. Today I wanted to share my favorites for this past month of April. Now I have been trying many different systems for the girls hair bows and I just haven't found one that I loved. What I really wanted to do was have their bows and like the hair ties that are fluffier on display and I found this jar in the like the target party section and I thought it would be great because the top is not glass and it's not like they have to be really careful when they put the the lid on it and it just looks really nice on their countertop in their bathroom. A new cleaning product that I just started trying was this Mrs. Myers Clean Day Lemon Verbena. I think that's how you would say it. Um, the only reason I got this was because everything else that I was using on my mirrors was streaking and um, I'm just, I used to use Windex all the time and for a while I thought it was doing a really good job but then it just, it wasn't anymore. I don't know what the deal was. So out of desperation I got this because I was using soap and water and then wiping it with water. I just wanted something that would quickly wash the win wash the mirrors, wash the windows whenever I needed to clean them and not spend a whole lot of time on them going through the whole process of, of you know, all of those other things that I was doing, homemade cleaners and whatnot. So anyway, I've been using this. It works just fine. I no longer have streaks on my mirrors and I couldn't be happier. Okay, let's get on to fashion and functionality. The first thing is this dress right here. I love this because it can be just a anytime day dress. It's very comfortable to wear. It's not um, too form fitting. It's not. Um, it's just not uncomfortable in any way, but it still can be very dressy. I like the ruffles on the sleeves as well. The detail on this dress was really beautiful. It's from down east. Yeah, I love that I can bend over and not worry about um, you know showing too much of anything and it's long enough and so yeah all around really great functional dress. Now another thing that is beautiful and functional is this parasol that I found on Amazon. Jorge got this for me. Um, I wanted something that I could use in the summertime and what's great about this is that it it's lace number one or like a form of lace and it has just the holes for the air to go through so if it's windy the before I would use an umbrella and let's just say I've broken a few umbrellas in the wind it looks pretty but it's also functioning as a way to block out the sun it gets so sunny here in las vegas so. now they did have an option online to have just the parasol or you could get it with a fan and i really liked the fan because um you know in the summertime at worship service i always need a fan it seems yeah, i got this bag right here that is insulated. It came from Walmart and it was very inexpensive. I wouldn't say that it it's the best quality, but for the price I paid, it's pretty good. And I had to get rid of my other bag just because it was weather worn and that one was not insulated at all. So I really like this one for that reason. It has a little pocket in here as well and then a zipper pocket on the outside. And this just stands up nicely, and so I could put some drinks in here. Um, I don't have to worry about the sunscreen, because that's another thing. When you go to the water park, it's like the sunscreen is just in the heat. For myself, I wanted to get the Neutrogena, um, just to have a facial sunscreen to me is important because it seems that that's what gets sunburn the most at least for me and so I've been using this daily in addition to my moisturizer that I've been using which also has it has like a SPF 15 in it and I just feel that it's not enough so I've been going with this underneath that this is the ultra sheer dry touch sunscreen 
broad spectrum SPF 45 and um, it's a lightweight clean feel they also have ones that don't cause breakouts is what it says I haven't had any issue with breakouts due to sunscreen so um, that wasn't as important to me but um, this says it's fast absorbing water resistant and 80 minutes long. Now a book that I've really been enjoying has been this 100 Days to Brave by Annie F. Downs and this is a devotions for unlocking your most courageous self. This has been a really great book for me just to um, start doing some things that I've been letting slide or putting on the back burner and one of these things that I got a lot of inspiration from was this day 53 and it's called small decisions matter what a person plants he will harvest Galatians 6 7 I really love that she includes verses in each of these days and then just how to implement these things into our life saying little no's along the way allows you to do great things saying little no's that give you some space in your life allows other things to grow it's just like a garden. You can't say yes to every seed. You can only garden certain things because if you said yes to every seed available, there would not be space for things to grow. When you look at your life, what are the parts of it that, if they grew, would bring glory to God? What fulfills you? What's healthy for your heart? Ask God these questions and as you pan out and look at the big picture of your life, don't take any small decision lightly. And then at the bottom, she says, be brave. Make a small decision today, a conversation, a meal, an email. Do one little brave thing and see how it changes your day. So more recently, as you all know, I've made some changes to my channel. This has been such a big inspiration for me in so many different areas, that being one of them, because it's something that I knew I needed to do and I may not be making huge changes here on this channel, but a little thing here and there is gonna make such a big difference for me in the long run, especially with over committing myself to things and like it said in here, not leaving room to grow. I feel like if I spend all of my time doing like the work and everything like that, I'm not leaving room for myself to grow in other areas. Now something that was not real, but that I did enjoy, which came as quite a surprise to me, was the movie called A Quiet Place. This was something that would not be a movie I would typically go and see. I don't like to scare myself. I don't like to, I just don't like to be scared. But um, this got really great reviews. Jorge pretty much convinced me to go see it. And we did not just see it one time, we saw it two times. So that is how good it was. Um, I really liked the actors in it. They just, they did a phenomenal job and it is really good if you're a parent, then it's kind of like the, the lengths that you would go as a parent to protect your children. And that is one of the reasons why I really enjoyed it. So that wraps up my monthly favorites for this past month of April. I hope that you all enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments below what book you enjoyed in April. And until next time, I hope that you all take care and